a chance from the corner, you'd have to say. As uh, the ball goes in. Georgic is there. It's a header. It's in. Bojan George has got it. It might go down as an own goal. It's Peacock Farrell who's going to be credited with the own goal. But Bojan Djordjic, not known for his heading, has created all sorts of trouble there. Pogba with the corner in. And Djordjic wins the header. It's cleared off the line into the back of the goalkeeper's head. Hello everybody and welcome back to Become a Legend on Pro Evolution Soccer 2021. Where we are Bojan Djordjic and we're trying to change history, sort of, in the year 2020. A lot has happened in the year 2020, but Bojan Djordjic coming back as a 17 or 19 year old for Man United isn't one of them. But we are here and today we're on the bench to play Sheffield United. I think in the last episode we went okay. I think we beat Southampton, drew with Burnley, I think is what happened. Um, we're doing all right in the league. Anyway, it's a three at the best, a five at the back formation for Sheffield United. Uh, Ollie McBurney and Billy Sharp up front. What's our leg gun for today? He's, bought Bar he's dropped. He's dropped Harry Maguire and bought in Eric Bailly. Wow. Uh, Pogba and Fred in the middle. James on the right. Martial gets a start on the left. And, uh, well, no Rashford at all. Not even in the start. Not even in the squad. Gordon and Rashford are driving. So Gordon looks like he's been bought in as a bit of a rivalry. Ooh, for us. But at the moment, we're keeping him out of the team. Let's get into it and we'll be back for... Let's put... Let's put Sheffield United, just to make sure, let's put them in a completely different kit so we can tell the difference. Let's go. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Old Trafford for this Premier League fixture of Manchester United versus Sheffield United. The uh, team from Manchester here pulling a surprise selection, Marcus Rashford not included in their whole match day squad. And uh, Harry Maguire, the most expensive centre-back in the world dropped to the bench in favour of Eric Bai. Let's get into the action and see how it unfolds. Well, in a very boring first half, it finishes nil-nil at the half-time whistle. Uh, both teams seem to be favouring a defensive, cautious approach. One shot in the game so far, nothing of note. Will there be any changes at half-time? Let's find out. And there is, Djordjic comes on at the left wing position. Replacing Anthony Martial, who was very quiet in that first half. So, George is giving an opportunity in his favoured position by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Let's see if he can make a difference to this game. Picked up the ball on the edge of the area. Heavy touch straight into Lundstrom's path, though, and he gives away possession. Man United had held on to the ball reasonably well uh, in that time. Not really showing any impetus to get forward and really have a go at the Sheffield United goal, though. And it seems to be following the same path as the first half at the moment as George Itch Flicks the ball back to Tellez. He's going again, but it's gone out wide. Bruno looks to play it into his path for a second pass, but uh, it didn't come off. Not the best pass from Bruno, and I think Georgic made a mistake calling for the ball there. McBurney turns for Sheffield United. No one's going towards him. Everyone's backing off, and McBurney probably should have had a shot. The fleck into Lundstrom. Lundstrom holds on to the ball into McBurney. It's all very narrow for Sheffield United as well. McBurney's made the space, couldn't reach the volley. And, uh, well, Man United... They're going to look to break. Lundstrom gets in front of Djordic. Bruno picks the ball up. Djordic on it again. He's got Cavani making a run through that gap. And he picks him out. He puts it over towards the far post to Dan James. Dan James can't get there. Lays it back to Bruno. Bruno shoots. Terrible finish. It remains nil-nil. But uh, a decent counter-attack from Man United. Cavani dinked it into the space for Dan James. Forced a little bit wide. And uh, he laid it back towards Bruno on the edge of the area. Not a good shot though, Ramsdale not troubled at all. That was Dan James' last involvement in the game, substituted for Mason Greenwood. As uh, Lundstrom comes forward for Sheffield United, lays it back to uh, Lundstrom again. McBurney turns, shoots, gets a shot off, good save from De Gea. And they're standing off McBurney, not going to pressure the big Scottish striker when he gets the ball. And allowing him to just run into the gap in between the centre-backs. Really bad defending from Bay and Lindelof. They've got De Gea to thank for a good save, but keeping it nil-nil at the moment. So it's going to be John Fleck to bring this one in. Left-footed in the swinger. It's there, but Bernie's beaten in the air, but it's bouncing around. Hoofed away. And uh, Ampadu will have a bit of time to bring this one down. What can he do? He finds Robinson. Robinson into Fleck. Fleck onto Lundstrom. Lundstrom puts it into the gap towards McGoldrick. Into Bulldog. Gets easily around the tackle of Fred. Bulldogs in. McBurney turns. Can't get the shot off. It falls there. And it's 1-0 Sheffield United. With 20 minutes to go. The crowd falls silent. 
And George Bulldock has put Sheffield United 1-0 up at Old Trafford. Fred here, not too sure what he was doing. It cuts in field. McBurney's shot was blocked. It carried on to Bulldock. And De Gea's got no chance from there. And this Man United defence has been awful. And now United have got it all to do. As Sheffield United surely dropping into a defensive shell now to hold on to what would be a very famous victory at Old Trafford as wan -Bissaka comes forward. He's got Greenwood in front of him. Greenwood tries to turn away. Robinson with a good tackle. And this whole Man United team have been pretty much down and out. There's been no sense of urgency for this United team as uh, Pogba makes a good tackle. Picks out Bojan Djordjic. What can he do? Maybe he can introduce a bit of magic into this United team. Alex Tellez. Djordjic goes again. Stays on side. Can't quite put the cross in. It's bouncing between the two players and O'Connell just manages to uh, get to his feet first. But Eric Bailly takes a bit of a poor touch there. Tellez. Djordjic. There's no movement ahead of him at all. Djordjic. Has he drawn the foul? I think the ref says play on there from Sander Berge's tackle. O'Connell. Bulldog up to Lundstrom. Lundstrom is, well, plays very well down the line, but it's intercepted by Tellez. Fred. Tellez has it again. Into the feet of Bojan Djordjic. No one's going towards him, but there's not, again, there's not many options on for the Swede. And he goes into Paul Pogba. Trying to get it dinked over the top, and that's a good header back from Bulldog, the goal scorer to Ramsdale. Five minutes to go, and Man United are struggling. And there's been no change in a tactical play from uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer or the coaching staff at United as Greenwood isn't fouled there. Looked like he took an elbow to the face. Referee says play on. As, uh, that's a good header as Fred picks up the ball into Djordjic. Djordjic gets past... Ampadu, Djordjic, round his man, shoots left-footed, not the best finish, goes past the post. Trying to force the issue, but nothing comes of it. And Ramsdale's kick goes long and full time here at Old Trafford. It's Sheffield United 1, Manchester United 0. So again, we come on and get another 5.5, not the best of ratings. It's just no movement when you pick the ball up. There's nothing in front of you. There's nothing really happening. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. Eight appearances we've now made for Man United, including the three friendly, so it's five in the league. But we could well be playing our way out of the match day squad at the moment. It's not been brilliant. Last time we were completely left out of the Europa League. We're going to be on the bench again. So let's dive into the game against Spartak Moscow. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Old Trafford for some Thursday night Europa League action. Manchester United versus Spartak Moscow who have made the long trip from Russia to Manchester. Harry Maguire back leading the team with his normal centre-back partner Lindelof after the change of defence against Sheffield United it was not fruitful at all for Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Dean Henderson takes his place in goal and it's uh, Dan James on the right, Martial on the up front and Rashford on the left for today's front line. On the bench, Bojan Djordjic, Igalo and Mason Greenwood. Spartak Moscow go close. It was a good build-up. Their first real attempt in anger on the Man United goal. Good strength to hold off Harry Maguire. And the winger cuts in onto his right foot. Gets it back onto that left foot. Good shot, Dean Henderson with a decent save. And he puts it behind for a corner. So at half-time, nil-nil again at Old Trafford. Not much goal mouth action. Man United probably had a few more shots. Uh, it's three for Man United, two for Spartak Moscow. It's been a close game. Slightly entertaining, but not much action to speak of. Will there be any changes in the second half? Let's go and have a look. But Bojan Djordjic is coming on at left wing again. So given another option by Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. He replaces Marcus Rashford. Let's see what the young Swede can do. Larsen into Bakayev for Spartak Moscow. Lays it off and Ashenko's up against Matic. Matic wins the ball well. Martial lays it in to Djordjic's path. Bojan Djordjic. It's a heavy touch and it gives Zobnin the chance to get back. He's really not, he's started quite electric for United and it's uh, sort of fallen away, but he's got past Zobin this time. Zobin lets him go and Djordjic gets it onto that left foot, tries to put a cross in. It's going to fall to Fred, back to Djordjic, good touch, take away from his man. Djordjic looks to dink it over the top towards Dan James, but it's intercepted quite well. Flicked on, Fred, Djordjic, 
Georgic is pushed in the back but just not strong enough to hold off the Russian defenders and Larsen comes forward with it and Fred puts in a good tackle to win the ball back and Man United look to launch another counter-attack. Martial round to beat. Dan James is headed away and Bojan Georgic can't get there. Fred, wan -Bissaka. Georgic, back to wan -Bissaka. Putting off down the line but he's offside now. Georgic gets it back from Dan James. Georgic had a shot saved from the goalkeeper and headed away. And uh, this Man United side do look a bit more deadly now. And it goes Georgic again, trying to become a bit of a playmaker for this team. Georgic, good footwork, but not enough to get round the man. Comes out to Juan Basaka. Fred. Van der Beek. Van der Beek has a shot from distance, hits the defender's face. Georgic picks it up, sees Luke Shaw make a run. Luke Shaw brings it down, can't keep it in, and that'll be a goal kick. And, well, Man United's most fruitful part of uh, the game so far comes with the involvement of Bojan Djordjic. He's trying to get on the ball. You can see that. He's trying to dictate the tempo and make this Man United team a little bit more attacking. It's not coming to fruition at the moment as Pogba is on to replace Fred. Djordjic picks up the loose ball in central midfield. Good ball up the line towards Martial. Luke Shaw, 1-2 with Martial. Djordjic is hanging back on the edge of the box. It's a terrible cutback, but the defenders had a nightmare. Djordjic is fouled, surely. Referee plays by on. Luke Shaw puts in the cross. And it's cleared away. And now Spartak Moscow look to launch a counter-attack. Larson on the ball. Puts it in to Babiev. Tashaev. Back to Bakayev. Bakayev lays it in to Cochrane, who came on as a sub. It's a good tackle. And uh, they've cleared the ball out towards Georgic. He's got Luke Shaw running in front of him. Gives a nice easy ball. Luke Shaw lays it in field. Van der Beek picks it up. Van der Beek is tackled, just too slow to release the ball as Cochrane's there. Ten minutes to go and the game is getting stretched. And you feel there's going to be a winner in this somewhere. Eschenko tackled well. Pogba picks it up. Back to Maguire. Out to Luke Shaw. Djordjic makes a run up the line. Flicks a great ball header inside to Van der Beek. Van der Beek to Martial. Martial tries to put it over the top, looking for Luke Shaw. Eschenko's there, clears it for a throw. The Man United trying to make this pressure count. As uh, Van der Beek, who's had a good game, is going to be replaced by Scott McTominay in that advanced midfield role. McTominay lays it back to Georgic, tries to flick it into the box towards Martial. He's offside. Just couldn't get back in line quick enough, Martial there. And Georgic maybe making the wrong decision. Uh, that's going to bounce and Georgic is going to try and get there lays it back Luke Shaw lays it into his feet but Georgic too weak to hold off the defender as Kutepov lays it back to Kral Umayarov Djaki Tashaev Djaki again Spartak Moscow you'd think would be delighted to come away from Old Trafford with a 0-0 draw well, after seeing what Sheffield United did to Man United Old Trafford, you'd think they might fancy themselves for a win. Ponce turns. Tackled well at the last. It's not. It's a free kick. And Spartak Moscow have a chance at the end of the game here to win this in the last minutes. It's a tall wall for Man United. Bakayev hits it over the wall and it's in. And Spartak Moscow have surely stolen the win at Old Trafford. Bakayev with a superb free kick to get it over the wall. And round David De Gea and the Spartak Moscow players and staff go crazy on the Old Trafford turf. It's a wonderful left footed here over the wall. Nothing Dean Henderson could do. And it's a lovely, lovely goal. And surely that is game over. And it is. Can you believe it? Spartak Moscow steal a win at Old Trafford. And take a 1-0 victory. They were outplayed, outpossessed, outshot. But that doesn't matter. There's one stat that counts. It's 1-0 Spartak Moscow. Well, a disappointing intro to the Europa League for us. We are... Uh, we're struggling to really influence games. We really are struggling at the moment. And we've got a massive game against Spurs coming up, which is good fun. Leave some comments down below if you've got hints and tips and you've played... Uh, uh, we're on the bench again. You'll be If you've played Become a Legend or you, you can give us some hints and tips about how to do things better, then I'm all ears because I just want to be the best I can at any sort of game. We are playing on Superstar, 
And I don't think that's the problem. I don't really want to lower the difficulty. I, I'm pretty sure that's not the problem. Cavani, Greenwood, Rashford, Fernandez, Pogba, Matic, Fosu, Mensah, Tellez, Bai, Higuaia, and David De Gea. So it's a good, strong team. Bit of form all over the place. We're still on a neutral yellow form, so hopefully we can make something happen. Right, let's go and see how we get on against a really tough opponent in Spurs. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium to see Spurs versus Manchester United who are in a poor run of form, losing two consecutive games at home to Sheffield United and Spartak Moscow. Tottenham are going to be a tough, tough opponent for the team in red. They start with Eric Bailly and Harry Maguire at the back. David De Gea returns in goal. Bruno Fernandes back into attacking midfield. Let's see how the action unfolds as kickoff is about to be undertaken. So half time is nil, nil. Good teams, uh, good chances for each team at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but it's not been a thrilling game once again. Man United far too defensive. And uh, Jose Mourinho not being attacking enough in that first half. Let's see if it changes going into the second half. Uh, Bojan Djordjic is coming on for a, a run out in this second half again. It seems to be a favoured substitution of uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's this season. Bringing on Bojan Djordjic for a second half to see if he can influence the game. Cavani around the corner looking for Greenwood but not enough on the pass. It goes back to Hugo Lloris. And uh, Hugo Lloris plays it to Davinson Sanchez. Tottenham looking to build from the back. Regulon, who was a transfer target for Man United. And it's worth re reminding you that Bojan Djordjic was subject to a bid from Newcastle United. Steve Bruce taking an interest in the little in the young winger as that nearly got through to Son Kim Min. Bojan Djordjic, the offer was accepted by Man United, but Djordjic turned it down. Uh, and he's through, oh, he could be through on goal here. Alderweireld has to come and meet him, puts a good tackle on the ball. And Sissoko does enough to mop that up. But yeah, Bojan Djordjic is getting the interest from the uh, the Geordie team. But didn't fancy a move to Newcastle. Wanted to stick it out at Manchester United and have an attempt at playing. Uh, the uh, club he called as illustrious with a big history. And uh, that's a terrible pass from Matic. Lucas Moura. The pressure on the ball. It goes up to Eric Dyer who finds himself in an advanced position. Matic again. Matic now two passes in a row that weren't the best. Djordjic makes the best of a bad situation. Picks it up into Cavani. Goes back to Alex Tevez. Alex Tellez tries to cut this one back again. And Eric Dyer is well placed to intercept it. And Tottenham could potentially launch a counter-attack here with Tellez out of position. But they've just given the ball away. Cavani into Bruno Fernandes. On one more to Bojan Djordjic. But couldn't take the ball in his stride. Lucas Moura. Sissoko. Good ball through to Kane. Song Kyun Min. Into La Celso. Tackled well by Timothy Fosu Mensa. And uh, Man United can just look to exploit the wing a bit here as well, Doherty's been caught in field a little bit. Bojan Djordjic puts it into Bruno Fernandes. Cavani lays it back to Djordjic just behind him. Good turn on the ball though. Gives it into Alex Tellez. Alex Tellez runs to the byline. He's got Djordjic in the box. Djordjic. Looks to dink it across towards Cavani. Too close to the front post and Hugo Lloris makes a good save. So substitutions for both teams. Uh, Brandon Williams comes on at right back to replace Timothy Fosu Mensah. And uh, Gareth Bale comes on to replace Harry Kane. So Tottenham are taking off their talismanic striker. But here is Bale on the ball. Bale into Lucas Moura. And Sissoko gets in front of Djordjic. And the shot is going to be deflected past the post for a Tottenham Hotspur corner. Let's see what they can do from this. It's going to be La Celso to take it. La Celso swings it in towards the centre spot. And David De Gea gets a good punch on it. De Gea back to Doherty. Sissoko is bouncing around. Djordjic underneath it. Doesn't jump for the header. As a regular looks to keep this one alive. Sissoko. La Celso. Gareth Bale. Doherty. Good flowing move here from Spurs. Dinks it into the box. Son Kyu Min can't quite get there. And it's cleared away by Eric Bailly. Eric Dyer. La Celso, a last frantic few minutes here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Bruno Fernandes. Eric Dyer comes forward. Gareth Bale looks to get it onto that left foot. Gareth Bale shoots, blocked by Brandon Williams. And uh, headed away. And Bojan Djordjic will just try and keep a bit of possession here with his team. And uh, Nemanja Matic up to Tellez. Back to Matic. Goes along and down the line looking for a run of Cavani that isn't going to be there. Sanchez. Sissoko and could be playing out for another nil-nil. Hugo Lloris. Alderweireld goes long. Challenges in the air flying in and 
Well, it looked like Alex Sellers just completely misjudged that one and let it go across his body. Lucas Mora, as we go into surely the full time whistle is going to be blown soon. Lucas, Lucas Mora just holds on to it, puts a cross in. Gareth Bale at the near post, and it's been spilt by De Gea, who's had an absolute nightmare. And Gareth Bale has got another late winner against Man United. They are falling apart in the final few minutes of the defence. Lucas Mora took his time, no pressure. Bale, terrible header, and David De Gea has had an absolute shocker. And Tottenham Hotspur are going to come out of this game with a 1-0 win. And this form for Man United continues. And they are performing terribly, terribly badly at the moment. It's 1-0. Full time. The home team win 1-0. And another dreadful performance from Man United. So another loss. And it's just it's just ridiculous. It's unbelievably bad how much the, the, we can't create chances. No one gets on the ball. No one shoots. I've noticed that every time as well, people start, like the team start on a defensive mentality. It's really irritating. Uh, on the bench for the FA Cup against Bristol City as well. I mean, come on, Ole. Give a man a chance. We're playing a strong team. We're playing a strong team against a, a pretty weak Bristol Rovers, right? If this isn't a win, Ole probably needs to be sacked in-game, I'd say. Three 1 0 losses in a row. Not playing well. Not creating chances. He needs to, he might need to go. He might need to go. I don't think managers can get sacked and become a legend, but you never know. You Hello never know. and all welcome to Ashton Gate for this Emirates FA Cup tie of Bristol City versus Manchester United. The Giants of Man United in terrible form at the moment. But Bristol City are going to be there to try and dent that form further. As Eric Bailly starts at the back with Harry Maguire, it's David De Gea in goal. It's a very strong lineup for Man United. Would you believe it? It's 1 0 Bristol City. Narky Wells gets the goal. And it's good build up play from Bristol City, and they've created opportunities. Man United have been a little bit more attacking in this game, but it's a touch. Narky Wells, one touch past Eric Bailly, fires it past De Gea wonderfully well. And it's 1-0 Bristol City in the Emirates FA Cup. Eric Dyes weight sent the wrong way. Good touch from Narky Wells. Lovely finish past De Gea. 1-0 Bristol City. It's a fabulous save from the Bristol City goalkeeper Bentley here. Man United starting to uh, show some authority in this game as Rashford came in. Cut it back towards Bruno. Good hit from Bruno Fernandes. A lovely save from Bentley in goal. And he was happy with that one for sure. So at half time here at Ashton Gate, it's Narky Wells' goal that gives Bristol City a 1-0 lead over the, well, struggling Manchester United team. Three shots, three on target. Bentley with one really top save from Bruno Fernandes. But really, Man United have struggled in this game. And are there going to be changes at half time? Yes, there are. Bo Bojan Georgic comes on. And Man United will hope that will change their fortune. So we are going to go for a slightly different view uh, for this second half. We're not going to be able to keep that one in. We don't have the pace. Um, it's 1-0 and uh, an early sub as well in the second half. Five minutes in, Pogba on for Fred. But yeah, we're going to try this view just to see if it gives me a slightly better uh, reading of the game. As uh, Harry Maguire's won that header, but that's going to go out as well. Yeah, we're struggling. As a team, not just me, I actually think when I come on I do make some difference, but I think as a team we are struggling. As here is Morel for Nottingham Forest, and it's uh, in the by Bruno Fernandes. Georgic tries to go and put it under a bit of pressure. Viner, Cavani can't get there. Narky Wells against Bai. Eric Bai wins the header. Up the line. Bojan Georgic on the ball. Flicks it in field. Finds Mason Greenwood. Back to Bruno Fernandes. Over the top. Looking for Cavani. But uh, he's headed away. Tellez keeps it alive. Georgic goes down the line. He's offside. So the cross goes in. It's a terrible cross. Wildly over hit. And Joshua Silva could easily bring that one down. Morel. Up to Martin. Martin lays it off to Hunt. Hunt put under pressure. But does well to get the pass away to Martin. Morel. Morel turns, he's holding off Paul Pogba, he's in, it's got to Narky Wells and David De Gea uh, can jump on it and make a good save. And uh, well, he's trying to throw that out, it's a very adventurous throw. Bojan Djordjic had the whereabouts to actually get there and make a difference as the ball goes through towards Aaron Wambazaka. The first time we've really seen a bit of time and space for one of the wing backs at United, but it's a wasted opportunity again. And uh, Eric Bai keeps it in, Greenwood keeps it. On course, lays it off. Terrible communication there from the United players. They applaud each other, but it's absolutely... Cavani turns, shoots past the post. 
It was from a free kick, launched long towards, uh, well, taken short and then long launched, la launched long towards Harry Maguire, flicked it down to Bruno Fernandes, back to Maguire, into Cavani, gets his shot off but past the post. And Man United still not having any sort of luck or opportunities that you could count as clear cut. They're really not playing well. Ball out. Bojan Djordjic picks up the ball. Got Chris Brunt for company and loses the ball to Chris Brunt, which isn't going to endear him to the Man United fans or Oli Gunnar Solskjaer in the management box. He's really not taking his opportunities well. Brunt picks it up into Martin. Martin's got Narky Wells making a run in front of him. Brunt out to the right-hand side. He knows all left-footed. They try and keep on the side. Martin with a header to Haya. Easy save. And uh, pulls it out to Djordjic. Georgic just smashes it straight into the chest of the man in front of him and then nearly gives the ball away again but it eventually gets towards Edison Cavani. Bruno going there. Cavani can't get the foot on the ball that was needed and uh, they put that down the line. Georgic has got a bit of pace to get there in front of Chris Brunt. Trying to lose his man. Can he swing a cross in? Good tackle from the Northern Irishman and it's cleared away. Again, Man United struggling to break through the lines of Bristol City. Just not enough happening in terms of movement and creative thought from this Man United team as they've shoved Harry Maguire up front now to deal with, well, who knows what's, what it is to deal with. It's been terrible from the Man United players, coaching staff, absolutely everything. As Callas wins that header, Hunt up to Brunt. It's the last one, it's Narky Wells offside. I don't think this view is actually helping me. Chris Martin off and Andres Weidman on for Nottingham Forest. It's all out attack for Man United now. Is it going to be a fourth 1-0 loss in a row? Narky Wells, Weidman back to Narky Wells. There's just no pressure on the ball. Hog with attack all the way back to De Gea. It's now or never for Man United. Still slow build-up play from the back. What is going on here? And they've wasted their own opportunities. It's 1-0 Nottingham Forest. Absolutely disastrous. I'll tell you what, when that transfer window opens, I think I'm asking for a move. This is horrendous. It's just no... There's no good football whatsoever. Absolutely none. And some of it does break down with me. Some of it is just the AI being stupid. But you'd think... Oh, we're in transition well yeah all right we'll go for that we've not been picked for today's game um is it europa league yeah it is so we'll skip this one see how they get on they win 2-0 when i'm not in the team again unbelievable 11 appearances average rating of a 5.8 next up is new oh the team that we wanted to buy us newcastle united and uh we we are be on the bench. We'll come back for that in the next episode, I think. It's just been all a bit rubbish, isn't it? It's just been all crap. It's just it's just there's no urgency. It's all so slow. All the build up is really slow. It's like Man United in real life, to be honest. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody. We're gonna be on the bench for the next game against Newcastle United. And uh, it still doesn't appear that training is taking any sort of effect. I don't know how you can look at it. Um, our offensive awareness has gone up. It just doesn't tell you. So we have gone up to 81 on offensive awareness. Stamina is going up towards a 66. Okay, so it is potentially making a bit of difference. I'm just not. It just doesn't inform you. But thank you so much for watching. We'll be back very soon with another episode of Become a Legend. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.